Hello everyone, Jason Porter from TGR Foundation here, bringing you another video from TGR EDU Create. We're going to be talking about Zoom again this time, but specifically breakout rooms and how you can use those with your students during remote learning. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, I've set up a meeting between myself and three different students here. And so if I want to put them into breakout rooms so that they can interact like they would um, if we were in a classroom setting, I can go down to the breakout room function here on the toolbar and click that. And then it's going to be an option. I'm going to select three rooms, and I can either set them up automatically or manually. I'm going to start out doing it automatically. And then you'll notice that it gives me three rooms, and it automatically assigns students to go into those rooms randomly. I can move around those assignments, so I can either move students to different rooms, um, or I can exchange students into different rooms. I also have some other options here. So I can decide to have students move into the rooms on Macly. I suggest that you do check that box um, because if not, students will have to click a dialog to make them go into uh, the rooms and that can cause a problem if students don't realize to do that. Um, other options that you have is to allow participants to return to the main session and that's up to you whether you wanna do that or not. You can also put time limits on the room or in the manually. And again, that's your choice, what you wanna do and whether you want notifications when the time is up. Um, you can also have a countdown, so you could select a countdown and decide how many seconds warning uh, that the students would get before they left their breakout rooms to come back to the main session. Um, in this case, I'm going to unselect that for our purposes here. Okay, so once I'm happy with all my options, I can go ahead and open the breakout rooms. And you notice what happened is that all the students left the main session and I'm the only one that's left. So only one participant here, just me, and all the other students are in their breakout rooms. So if I want to go and interact with them, I can just join a room and say yes. Okay. And now I'm going to be joined into breakout room one. Okay. So you see I'm here and I'm here with student three. Um, and I can interact with them in all the ways that I would in a, a normal Zoom meeting in the main session. So I can chat with them. Um, we can exchange information that way. I can share my screen. They can share their screen. Uh, or I can just listen to the conversation that students are having or, or monitor the work that they're doing um, and use all the same Zoom meeting tools that we can always use in the main session just with this smaller group. Okay, so when I'm done and I want to um, either leave, go to the main session, or I can also join other rooms. If I want to go around and, and check in on students, this is a great way to do some differentiated learning. Um, so if I'm going to go back to the main session, I'll just leave here. Okay, now you see it's moving me back to the main session. Here I am by myself. When I'm ready to finish the breakout rooms, I can come up here. Either the timer will finish them automatically if I use that option, or I can close them manually. And so I can say close all rooms. And now you'll see that the students are all coming back. I'm from the gallery view, so me and all my students are here back in the main session. Um, this can also be used for if you want to have multiple breakout room sessions, you can set it up again. So if I come back to my breakout room button on the toolbar and click on it, and I can use those same breakout rooms. So if I want to have students in the same groups and have them go into rooms and come out of rooms and back in the rooms, I can do that as much as I want. Or if I want to change it up, I can delete those rooms. I'll just say yes to all of these. and recreate the rooms. So again, I'm gonna say three rooms and I'll do it uh, manually this time so you can see what that looks like. Okay, so now you see it made the three rooms, but there's no students in there. So I can come in and I can assign where I want students to go. So let's say this time I wanted students one and two in room one, and then I'm gonna put student three in room two, okay? Um, I still have all my same options here that I can come in and change those, and when I'm ready, then I can make those rooms. Hopefully that was helpful for a basic overview of how to use breakout rooms with your students. For more information, please feel free to go to the uh, support site at Zoom to give you some more detailed information in using breakout rooms and some of the technical specs that you might need to pay attention to. 
TGR Edu Create would absolutely love to be a resource for all of you as you're learning to use Zoom and specifically breakout rooms with your students and remote learning. Um, so please, if you have any questions or we can help you through this process, email us at tgreducreate at tgrfoundation.org. Also, we'd love to hear how you're using it. So share on social media, tag us at tgrfound with the hashtag tgreducreate on Twitter. Um, and please don't forget to visit tgrfoundation.org and tgredu.explore.org for lots of free resources and other things that we can help you with uh, while you're learning remote learning and still working with your students. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.